Mike Johnson. I'm taking you on a video test drive and, and demonstration of this 2012 Freightliner rollback tow truck. We're going to the auction to go pick up a car and then deliver it to its destination. We'll pick up a second car also in this video and we'll show you how the the boom works and tilt the bed and so forth. So there's a lot of features about this truck that I'm going to point out while we're taking this little drive. This has dual traffic advisors. It's got all LED lighting. The various LED lights around the tow truck. The light bar on the front on the top has a traffic advisor on the front and traffic advisor on the rear. It's got white LED takedowns on the front as well and then uh, on the rear. I'll show you those features in a few minutes once we pick up the car. So we'll be arriving soon to the uh, auction here. We just have the transmission in drive. It's got a push button, transmission selector. You've got your PTO selector and your auxiliary lights. So many people don't know how to drive these days. So we're going, if, and uh, this one is automatic transmission, so we roll up to the auction. I start demonstrating the lights. So the the front light bar has multiple signal flashes and right now it's in the traffic advisor front to the right and rear to the right but you can change the pattern and do alternative flash patterns. Depending on your urgency, if you're getting a highway patrol call and you're responding to an accident, you can change the flash pattern. More of a get out of my way pattern. A center out traffic advisor pattern. So it'll do front, left, front, right, all these different patterns on the front and then the rear just push button to select and then you can activate your takedown lights. See if we can find a nice parking space or not. Here's one. Down here we have engage PTO and auxiliary lights or off. The AC is nice and cool. We can do keep playing with our flash patterns. That's another move to the right traffic advisor or move to the left. A lot of different patterns you can select. So we're going to engage the PTO and I'll just turn everything on just for the heck of it. This has idle up so by engaging the cruise control and bumping up the speed of the engine we can idle up the engine. 
so it'll operate a little faster. Then run the the bed back and we can do two at the same time. We're running the bed back and this bed extends out quite far. So we're going to run it all the way out because this car is so low in the front. We don't have the, let me get down low, we don't have the double bendy bed, but we're going to lower it down all the way out and drop it down to the ground, put a little weight. It has resting pads, but as long as it, the car is not too heavy, it sits pretty low. So I'm gonna, we have our work light, so if it was dark, I'm gonna cut the idle up. And we're gonna drive that car back up on the back. So just to make sure we don't scratch up the front end, I put a little block of wood under here. Cause this car is extremely low, but it's not touching. So we're all the way up on the block of wood. We're gonna pull it up on the truck and chain it into position. Turn this AC vent off the camera. Give it a... All right, was up in position. And we'll chain it down. So we're gonna put the chains on, on the front connect up the winch to a little loop right here and we're chained up. So now this car is on the truck. We're gonna align it, load it, chain it to the back. It's secured so I can start raising the I'm going to actually raise the rear of the boom first. If, if the car is too heavy, you can't do that. But we're going to pull it right up on the back of the bed, raise it up. It's secured to the winch, so it's not going to roll off the back. And once we get up a certain height, we'll secure the rear with chains. So I've chained up the back of the car. There's anchor locations here with built into the bottom of the car to secure the chains. And then it's extremely important to crisscross because when you come flying around the corner, you want the chain to get tight so it, the car doesn't slide on the deck left to right. But we're going to winch it up, winch the cable in. And we have the front anchor points attached. Pulling the slack out of the chain is going to tighten it down to the deck. And it pulls it down and cinches up all the chains. So now the car is secure, so it's not going to go anywhere. going to lower the deck flat, bring it forward, and I'm going to chain down, strap down the front tires just to be safe, to make sure we don't lose it, especially if you're going on a longer haul. So we're going to demonstrate the wheel lift. We're going to lift up this van in a second here. I'm going to lower it down. And extend it out. I'm doing this one-handed, so it's fairly easy to use. So I gotta put the spoons in.
attach the spoons here it's extended and underneath and then the controls right here lift up the vehicle and you're ready to tow it swings and uh, then you just of course have to strap in your vehicle so it doesn't fall chain it up there are chains in the chain pockets here as well to give extra security to your towed vehicle so it doesn't get away works real nice So we're going to take a look under the hood of the Cummins turbo diesel. It has a brand new belt on the PTO and a brand new PTO clutch. So it doesn't slip at all. Sounds good. So thank you for watching my video about this 2012 Freightliner rollback tow truck. My name is Mike Johnson. Thank you.